The South by Southwest Eco Conference kicked off at the Austin Convention Center this morning. Over the next three days, 250 speakers will talk about their conservation efforts with water, energy, and transportation. The idea here is to bring all of these experts together. Typically, though, all these conversations happen in their silos. They happen in the energy conversation or in the business conversation, uh, but they seldom open up their doors and reach across and, uh, and, and work together on these things. So that's why we built South by Southwest Eco Work. South by Southwest Eco runs through Wednesday. Tickets for this three-day conference cost $375, but the public can get into the exhibition hall for free. And there is one very surprising exhibit there. KXAN's David Yeoman shows us a 3D printer that makes food. As the world's population surges over 7 billion people, much of what's going on at South by Southwest Eco has to do with how to sustain that growing population. Now, when it comes to doing that, we found a very interesting and surprising idea, and it's one that's attracting a lot of attention. It all started when NASA decided they wanted to send astronauts to Mars. Imagine for five years somebody has to eat MREs. That's just absolutely terrible. Uh, they wanted to investigate uh, uh, other technologies that can provide a sustainable uh, nutrients and food source to astronauts. Enter the 3D food printer. Powdered ingredients that can keep for years are mixed into individual vessels. A heated plate then receives a square of dough, a layer of sauce, and some cheese topping. Twelve minutes later, voila, an appetizing little pizza that had one fly very interested. We can pretty much uh, provide food on table with a very few resources. So we believe that this is the future of uh, food. So while this looks and smells like pizza, we can't dig in quite yet until the company gets approval from the FDA for the food that they're printing. But they say in the future, this technology could be in every kitchen to help feed a growing world. We're in downtown Austin, David Yeomans, KXAN News.